I'm building a log cabin, or actually we're building a log cabin, but I do most of the work. After excavating the soil by hand, and a bunch of days with a rock drill, as I didn't know there was a big rock in the middle, I gathered a few stones from the land, and built a foundation. Plus pillars for the terrace. Then for the first time working with a chainsaw I felled some trees for the main construction, then pushed them out of the forest, debarked them and built the main frame. And after that the roof. If you haven't seen last video, I cut some wine bottles. Then added insulation in between the posts and put the wine bottles in it. And then started to make a stone wine bottle wall, which took a bit more time as expected. But before I continue, quite a lot of you guys commented that I'm wearing the wrong respiratory mask. So when a bunch of you guys saying that, then I should do something about it. So let's go to the building market. All right, we have a spray paint respirator and then we have uh, one class higher and then we have the best one, which is a chemical respirator. I'm not working with chemicals right now, but maybe in the future, let's take the best one. You only live once, right? All right, new mask. Don't know the power of the dark side.
I hope you guys enjoyed this way of filming. I am going back to normal style because I don't see anything when the camera is in front of my face. <laughs> Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of future videos. I'm changing style a little bit. I used to have the mortar really narrow in between the stones and I start to like it a little bit more when there's when there's a little bit bigger gap in between the stones. So I keep the bottom with a thin layer of mortar and then I'm gonna work from the halfway up with a little bit more mortar. I think in the end that's gonna look really nice. to quickly explain why I'm building a wooden cabin. A log cabin, cordwood cabin. Well originally it was supposed to be a log cabin but then there weren't enough stray trees here so then I switched to cordwood cabin. But the reason I'm building with wood is like look at that. It's like every piece of wood it's like it's like it has a whole different story. It has a whole different history like um, it was alive, it's like, it's just so different than the feel of just being in a brick plastered house. It's, yeah, I know, I really start enjoying this more the more older I get. And the same counts for stones, they also have that natural feel, you know? Of course, I am using cement to mortar them together. as nice as possible to me is when I finish it I want to look back at it and think I really did my best on that it might not be perfect but I really did the best I could on it so that's what I'm doing Since I've been building a cabin, I've been finding out in how many different muscles in my body it's possible to have muscle pain. And every time I think I've had them all, I found out, oh no, there's another new one it is possible to have muscle pain in. Okay, this is the end of today. I'll see you tomorrow.
Leila's back. Hi. She's going to help continue with the wall. Ready? How many? Three. And then uh, one full bucket of the white cement. Oh, no, 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 you have to wear the mask. Uh, safety first. Yes. No, no. Wear the mask. Come on, boy, I do, do, do this on my, my own, don't worry. My followers Say are going... I my dad 42 years without the mask and he is like... This is not good. Half and half more. I'm sorry guys, I tried. And then the other one at uh, call at three quarters. Spanish? Uh 65% of the, the bucket. <laughs> With this, I never use this. <laughs> you do this? No. No, no. That material died. <laughs> well, it's the first one. Looks like you know what you're doing. You done this before? Yeah. So we made a plan. Uh, she'll do the uh, rough work, put stones in, and then I do the finish. I'm a little bit of a control freak. I like to have the last last whatever about the actual <laughs> finish <laughs>
there are two things that I learned in this project. Number one is this goes way faster when there are two people. Number two is I don't think I'll ever do this again with such small stones. This takes forever. <laughs> it looks nice, but it takes forever. I think it's like almost two weeks from from daylight to when it gets dark. see the majority of light coming through the left side it's because um, the other side there's still stuff behind it and there's a tree behind it I think you can imagine when the Sun comes up because the Sun comes up on that side what beautiful light will shine through uh, I still have to clean all the stones with cement cleaner but I'll do that another day A big thanks to my patrons who make it possible for me to keep making these videos. If you'd like to become a patron too, check out the link.